Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of Microsoft Excel financial analysis series on your favorite channel technical portal. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe this channel for more videos like this. So today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to calculate the interest portion of a loan payment in a certain given period. Now you can say I have a simple database where I have a loan amount which is 10,000 as per your currency, interest rate that is 5.5% and as you know in any of the insurance calculation, loan calculation or any other this type of calculation, the interest rate is given for every 12 months or a full year. Now monthly payment is rupees 90 that I have selected here, period that is in total month that is 60 and periods that is total months that is months per year is 12. So here we need to find the interest amount in first period only. So today we are going to learn how to use the IPMT function of Microsoft Excel. So stay with this video, I will describe each and every argument I am going to use into this formula. So watch my steps carefully. So let me at first tell you how we are going to calculate this. We want to calculate the interest portion for payment 1 of a 5 year loan of 10,000 rupees with an interest rate of 5.5% right. So we are going to calculate the loan of 5 years so we need to give this period total month as 60 that means 5 years right. So here we are going to use the IPMT function equals to IPMT. So what it is showing that returns the interest payment for a given period for an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. So insert this, hit the tab button to autofill it. Now here at first we need the rate and that is the interest rate. So how to calculate it? I already have told you in the starting of this video that this is the interest rate but it is given for a year that means we have to divide this rate with 12 that is months. So this is the interest rate we need to divide it insert the division symbol with this that means we got a rate that will be calculated according to the months not for the year. Insert a comma now it is asking for PER. PER means the period we want to work with. Here I am going to use number 1 since we are interested in the principal amount of the first payment. Note that carefully. Insert a comma now it is asking for n per and what is the n per? So here n per means the periods of total months that we have included into this C8 cell that is total of 60 months that means 5 years right. Insert a comma now it is asking for PV and what is PV stands for? PV means the present value or total value of all payments till now. In this case of a loan this should be input as a native value by adding a minus symbol or you can say hyphen into this case. And what is the PV here? The PV is included into the C5 cell that means the loan amount actually right. So that's all. Now close the parenthesis, hit the enter button, look at here, you will get your exact interest amount in the first period. Now how this actually showed, I have formatted this cell with the custom that is accounting number format and then hit it the decrease decimal to only two decimal places. So with this input the IPMT function returns as 45.83 which is the interest amount in the first period according to this database. Now you can change anything of this the formula will show you the result according to your formula and your database and it will show you the result accurately. So that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I'll come back soon with another interesting video. Don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries in the comment section and till then keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.